So you can use this for Windows clients, macOS clients, for Android things, but this is not what we're going to do. We're going to block all of it on the router for all devices, just on my phone. And there are ads getting blocked for my phone as well. If you know a proper block list for to get rid of all those pesky CNN ads, then please leave a comment below. By the way, if you want to see all my videos about the Amber Pro NAS and just type in Chris Viral Amber Pro NAS in the YouTube search, hit enter and you will find tons and tons of videos. Initiating. Welcome back. Welcome back to my daily grind, create yourself is what you'll find me doing Every day and every night, no time to lose One day, one step in the right direction I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too Welcome back to the vlog, it is Thursday in our day and our chance to push hard and the topic for this vlog is how to block all the ads with Edgard plus installation for the Ember Pro NAS, Docker container installation. Anyway, so let's get it. By the way, all the tutorial vlogs right here, I'll watch them all, but before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers. Thank you for making my love special and worth living to the max. So let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video. First of all, in my last vlog, you can check it out right here. I talked about the best alternative for Pi-hole. I became aware of this ad blocking stuff through Pi-hole and I thought it has to be Pi-hole, but nope, there are alternatives and Edgard seems to be the best one. I tried to install Pi-hole on the Ember Pro, but I'm a total noob to this. I have a bit of programming experience, but installing Docker containers, well, it's not necessarily hard, but it's still something else and I'm lacking the basics. So I got in contact with Mr. KP. Actually, here is a shout out from the Tech Magnet review. Before we get started at this point, I want to mention Mr. KP. At first, I just asked him a few questions in his Discord, but then it turned out to be quite an extensive collab. He helped me a lot with setting up different Docker containers. So if you want to know how to set up Nextcloud, how to set up Home Assistant, how to set up AdGuard to block all the ads before they reach your devices, then check out the description for all those tutorials. You will also be able to find his channel and by the way, it's right Right here in the top right corner. His channel is definitely a good source for home automation tutorials. Thank you so much for the help and now let's get right to it. So I will be using his PDF tutorial but also install it like my way. Anyways let's get right to it. So here we go this is the Ember OS and I will be using this PDF file and you will be able to find the download link in the description of course powered by Mr. KP. So let's get started. First of all you should watch this vlog right here because in this vlog I create the container folder. So if you want to know more about this then check it out. All right that's better. You will need a containers folder in the public folder and as you can see there is already stuff going on. So before we get to the tutorial let me show you the app. So Ember Pro tab right here. Let's go to the containers and I think it was this one. Nope. It's the one with the number 80. So let's log in and as you can see this thing is working. I have these filters right here. Locked domains just in the last 24 hours. You can disable the protection and actually check this out. How to test it you just go to the CNN page right here and as of now there are 12 ads blocked on this page 12. This was with the ad guard on. Let's refresh and now check this out, 15, 20, 24. There is room for optimization obviously because 12 that are not getting blocked. When you scroll, check this out, 40, all right, 46 on this page. And now let's enable the protection again. And now let's refresh the CNN page again. And now let's see, we have 15, 16. Oh yeah, there are, there are still quite a few, but it's, it's less, 1,100. Okay, so it only blocked 16. So there is room for optimization, but as you can see, it works. But I will need better lists, I guess. Anyways, that was just the teaser. Let's get to the tutorial. So let's get rid of this. Demonstration is already done. Okay, let's start. So first of all, we need to create two folders in the file explorer. As I already said, you may have to create the containers folder as well and put the new folders inside. So we need the Edgard conf folder and Edgard work folder and it will look something like this. Go back to the control panel. The first thing that we need to do is to create a folder in the shared folders menu right here. Click create and we will name this folder containers. Rest looks good. Let's create this folder. So this is how it's done and click on create folder then you can create a new folder. In the containers folder I will delete this one again. How can I delete? Oh my goodness. Okay probably have to press delete yeah you have to press delete on the keyboard okay as you can see i named mine 
Edgard Config and Edgard Work. I went for my own naming scheme because you know OCD and, and stuff. All right, so we have the folders. Next, we need to go to Networks and then we need to click Add Network. And when I did that a month ago, it took me a long time to find it. You need to go to the Amber Pro app and it's right there. It's not in these apps, it's in the Amber Pro and then it's right here, Networks. And right here you can click Add Network right there. And then you type in your network name, network type and the IP range. I called mine just test. When you press delete, nothing will happen. I'm a total pro at this, obviously. One second. I will also listen, link you all the Ember manuals for the Ember Pro app and for all of that good stuff in the description. And right here you can see here is a section about how to add them and how to remove them. So let's check it out. So there are two system built-in networks and you can add two other bridge networks, three internal ones and one Mac VLAN network. Oh, did I miss that? You, you just select it and then you can remove it. But check this out, I somehow, I somehow can't remove this network. That's strange. So that seems to be a weird bug. I cannot delete this network, <laughs> what the heck? Okay, but this wasn't a big problem. So just with the tutorial, you should be able to do it. Just focus on this. If your Ember IP is that, well, you basically take your Ember IP. You can see it in the Ember OS and then you just add slash 31. Easy as that. You type the network name. Don't use test, obviously, because that sucks. Probably Edgar Network maybe would be a good name and the type is Mac VLAN, right? That's easy as that. Here is a more detailed description. Check it out. Network name is my Mac VLAN network type. IP range is your Amber IP, Amber OS IP slash 31. And I did leave the rest. Well, I think it was automatically generated, so, but that wasn't a problem. So you should be able to do it. If not, leave questions below. It should be easy. All right, then we go to the container apps. Well, we go to containers and then we click manually create. Go to the Amber Pro tab and then go to the containers and then click create container, manually create. And this is where I went with a, another naming scheme, container name Edgard Home. So my name is just Edgard, as you can see right here. It's running for 68 days already, not bad. Oh my goodness, time is moving fast. So you fill in all this stuff right here. In my case, it was test. Then you fill in this, this IP address, you take your Amber OS IP and then just modify the last three digits. This IP should be from your router range. The IP here is just an example. Actually, let's, let's expand on this. When you go to CMD, then you can actually, let's copy our IP address for, from the Amber OS. And then we type in ping, ping this IP address. Okay. This is how we can find out if this IP address is used or not. And then if we modify this to one, 133 this IP is already also used let's modify to 299 could not find host okay maybe let's go for 155 155 and this is what you want you take your IP and then just modify the last three digits ping it and if the destination is unreachable then it means it's a free IP and you can use these three digits or maybe two, whatever you want. Will it work with only two? Let's try 11, I guess. Yeah, you can also use a two digit thing or maybe even one digit. This is how to find out a proper IP. Let's try 0.2. Yeah, you can also do it with a single digit one. Nice. So we won't need this any longer. Oh yeah, he said it right here. Just make sure that the address is free in your network. So this is how to find out if it's free or not. And the IP should be from the router range. So as I said, you take, again, you take your IP, just modify the last digits. Then this will refer to the other folders that we created before that. And bind mount, you just put this in there. So this is what it will look like. You can name the container. Registry is Docker Hub. Docker image will be this. Network will be the test or your ne your network. Then the IP address restart policy always. And you need to click on advanced settings and then you can click on mount a folder file. Actually, let's do this just for fun. Manually create network will be test. You need to fill it in. Okay, my, my bad. Networks test use two, 219. This will be your Ember OS and you just modify the last that, that we already talked about it. You modify the last digits and use an IP address that's free. Okay, manually create, and then you click on 
mount a folder. So you click on mount folder, you click on containers, and then you click on Edgar config, press add, and then you can insert this path right here. You just copy paste or just type it in opt Edgar config. Opt slash Edgar slash config or just conf. I think I just I, I did it like this Edgar and then config. When your DIY name won't work, then just use this. I can't remember what I did there, but I think this is not a problem either. Okay, and then the Edgar image will start downloading and wait until you see the following or something similar. When it's done, you will see all these IP addresses right here. I think this is an aspect that you can improve. I don't know how. Maybe there is something how to re reduce these all these IP addresses because most of them lead to nowhere. And then you click on the 3000 IP address. In my case, this is already dead. I think this will only work for the initial setup and then just follow the instructions afterwards. Then you just do this, this walkthrough. This has nothing to do with the Ember. This is just the Edgar thing. You can leave everything as is here. Okay. Interface port 80, your Edgar home admin web will be available on the following addresses. But you just do all of that as it's written here. Create username and password, authentication, all of that stuff. We won't get into this. I will show you how to block it for, for all devices. This is an example for Windows clients. So you can use this for Windows clients, macOS clients, for Android things. But this is not what we're going to do. We're going to block all of it on the router for all devices. So we don't care for that. And you can open the Edgar dashboard. Right, right, right. Finished with the setup. This is how he configured his MacBook. But again, we don't care for that. Oh yeah, he also uses the CNN website without any ads. That's it, hope it helps and you like it. All right, now let's get to the good stuff. By the way, that's my dude. And if you want to know more about block lists, check out his video. It will be listed and linked in the description. I won't get into that a lot, but to make it short, firebog.net. I will also list and link that. There are suspicious lists, advertising lists, tracking telem telemetry lists, malicious lists. So for the CNN, I would, well, we can, we can try that at the end. Insert more advertising lists, but check out his video for more information. Oh yeah, and if you're wondering, you can't block ads on the YouTube app. That's not possible. You will need YouTube premium for that. Lastly, this is how it's done. You will need to make the ad guard DNS, the primary DNS IP address. In my case, we will need this IP address right here, copy, and then we go to the control panel, then right here, network, we click on a general, obtain DNS server manually, that's a bit weird. Anyways, we go to, we go to LAN, and then DHCP, primary DNS IP address right here. That's looking different, I'm kind of confused. General, okay, primary DNS IP address. It's right here, primary DNS server. That might be the issue. It's the Edgar IP address. This IP address, you put it right here and click use the following DNS as server address. Click on apply and this is how it's done. I don't know why that changed, but this is how to do it. And now, Let's check the cnn.com page again. Okay, we have 39. Well, that's funny, nothing changed. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Let's refresh. Let's disable the protection. Let's refresh CNN once more. Now it's 48. It's not a big difference, so I need to look into that. That's not good enough. Refresh the stats. There is still one more. It's kind of weird. 48. Let's enable the protection once more and let's refresh it once more. Nope, I'm not satisfied with that. But this concludes the tutorial. So there we go. Let's add some filters. DNS block lists. As you can see, I have the Edgar DNS filter, default block list, malware domain and Firebog easy privacy. So let's get another advertising list. Maybe this one, add away, copy, add a block list, create from the list and Oh, there is actually a list. Check this out. But I want to create a custom list. Enter the name, enter the URL, and the name will be add away list. Save that. Oh, I already have it. Add away default block list. All right. Check for updates. One list updated. Come on, another advertising list. Give it to me. Let's try this GitHub one. one. Custom Anu Deep. What's the name again? That's the name. Perfect. This dude has 24k. Nice. What are all these ads? Are you kidding me? Let's see. From 18. 
Oh my goodness, from 18 to 75. Let's add a block list from the list as well. Windows Spy Blocker, nice. Then no coin filter, scam block list, spam. Why not? Why not? Let's go. Other block lists, bar block. Okay, let's. Why not? Many more block lists. Let's see. Wow, the freaking CNN ads are a menace. It went from 70 something to 33 or something like that. So if you know a proper block list for to get rid of all those pesky CNN ads, then please leave a comment below. I'm desperately needing one. But yeah, as you can see, it works for all devices. Refresh. 36. Actually, let's close the CNN thing. And for my last test, I will be using my phone, cnn.com. And we already... Oh my goodness. Okay, so scroll, 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 scroll. Check this out. No activity on the laptop, just on my phone. And there are ads getting blocked for my phone as well. This will obviously only work for all your devices that are actually connected to the Ember Pro. In other words, in your Wi-Fi. This is amazing. Block all the ads before they even reach you. Back to you, Chris. So as you saw, it's not that hard. It will take a few steps to get it done, but in the end, it's not that hard. The router config was easy as well, and it, it, it works. It's amazing. In my next vlog, in the last vlog about the Ember Pro NAS, you can check it out right here. I'll get to a review after one week. So I guess I will see you there because that's it for this one. Smash that like button the way. Ads are now getting smashed before they even reach my devices. Bang the bell like pa, pa, to never miss tutorial vlogs and check the recent news on chrisviral.com. And that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow.